Well, there's always a special bond between a father and a daughter, and it's kind of something you can't describe until you have one. And this episode started about 10 years ago. Yeah, that's me in the, in the blue suit with a hairnet. But uh, to go in and, and be there when, when Carson was born was something I'll never forget. And uh, when you're there and you hold them for the very first time, it just creates something special in you that you can't describe to anyone unless they've been through it. You know, I had so much fun with her when she was tiny. I started her with a Nerf bow and then she got the kid's bow and she was always out here. And here's her first attempt at Blue Collar Adventures. Hi, I'm Carson off of Blue Collar Adventures and I'm gonna shoot a deer and I spot one right now. that? Yep. Oh my gosh. That'll work. Good shot. I've been hunting with my dad for about seven years and we, he would take me out to the blind or the barn or other places and we would go and we would hunt stuff and hunting turkeys and he would hunt deer waiting a long time. Last year we tried to hunt. Uh, I got her her first deer rifle and she got out here and we practiced and we got it right and I got confident that she could make a good shot. We just never had the opportunity and so she was ready this year. She'd been talking about it and you know she got a turkey on the ground earlier this season so it's time to graduate to a deer. Out in the middle. Last year my dad got me this gun and it was an awesome gun because he cut it just right for me and where it won't kick. And last year we tried so hard to try and get one. Autumn Antlers has been just an amazing place for me. Special memories, great people, and we've just bonded over the last few years. And this year they said, hey, Carson needs to shoot her first buck here. And it seemed to be a perfect time. Uh, it's beautiful. It's up north. And uh, these are amazing people I wanted to introduce her to. And she got here and she just ran the show from the start. So we've got big deer, we've got them coming in the field. The deer are really starting to move. Carson's rested, she's excited. And I'm nervous, because it could happen tonight. We get one buck, he's a little further than she's been practicing, but her confidence is high. She says, Dad, I can get him. And before she gets a chance at him, he goes out in the woods and he's gone. And just about that time, here's a little buck we've been looking at for. He's a really great first buck. He steps out into the field. Everything's on the opposite side of the blind than we need it, than we set up for. Crystal's shooting through a glass window. I've got Carson slid down the rail. and. Now it's up to Carson in that moment that you let them go and you let them do it on their own. That's so hard to let go. He told me to just not flinch and Crystal told me to hold my breath. So I held my breath. In our lives, we have to be super thankful for having stuff happen that most everybody doesn't. It's called being blessed. And that is the awesome deer. You're out doing a hunting show, you go when you have the opportunity, and a big part of what I do is I always try and give back. And I want Carson to know that when Dad's gone sometimes, it's to help people out, and I'm so glad that she gets it. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to miss your family. It's hard to miss your little girl. It's hard to talk to her on the phone from a hunting camp. I love what I do. I'm very blessed to get to go hunt. Uh, but, you know, family's first. That looks really fun and it's very nice of him to go out there and help those kids with disabilities and help them do the stuff they've always wanted to do, like the wheelchair hunts. It makes me feel like when he's out there helping other people and I'm still at, the home, at home, it makes me f miss him, but I know he's helping other people, so it makes me feel kind of good inside and 
that he's doing nice things for other people. It makes me want to do it too. We kind of do this sneak around to try to stay downwind from him because the, the wind was blowing everywhere and it was, it was really crunchy from all the fall leaves, so it was really hard to be quiet, especially it's with a camera person. It's so much harder to have two people crunching through the leaves that you gotta get super close. Finally, Jay spots one of them and we see him in there. And they're in that food plot and they're kind of like rubbing their horns on the, this tree. They're all balled up, just messing around. So I decided not to be picky and try to take the first really good shot that I had. I held it right on him, and as soon as the other, the rams cleared, I just held right behind his shoulder and squeezed, held my breath and squeezed. Maybe I didn't do a very good shot. So we looked and we looked and we split up and Jay went up the hill, was looking through the trees and we tried to follow their tracks and we just really couldn't tell which way they went. And finally Jason was like, there's a horn! And there was like a deadfall tree and you could just barely see the tops of his horns and I was stoked. <laughs>